Sean Lee, the current champ. He's never been defeated. Those awesome records, including the fastest kill. He killed a guy during the last comedy. Yep, kicked the poor bastard right in the throat. I died right there on the platform. Chong Lee stood there and watched him die. Welcome back to Thinking Critical. This is Wes. And uh, you're going to be seeing Perch a lot on the channel this week. Today we're going to be talking about Donnie Cates. Is 2021 his for the taking? I think it might be. Got a lot of things lining right up for the end of 2020 into 2021. I think Donnie Cates has got the right idea. He's going to be bigger than ever going into next year. We've also got a five uh, comic book trends I hate video coming out later in the week. And hopefully I, I'm hoping Perch can come back and we'll be talking about uh, some of the other creators that have jumped on the Alan Moore bandwagon this week and kind of talk about their take on it. But like yeah. I mentioned earlier, we are going to be talking about Donnie Cates. Is he taking over Perch? Obviously with me is the Poobah of comics himself, Comics by Perch. How you doing? I'm doing great. Yeah, thanks for having me on. Well, I'm glad you could make it. I do want to say before we get into all this Donny Cates goodness, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs down if you don't, and definitely let me know your worst take on Perch in the comments section. I love reading those, Perch. <laughs> Absolutely. Hot yes, takes on Perch are always fun. I, I, it would be good if you could. I, I want to have quotes in my my chain in my video. So the the crazier you can go, the better. I I, I enjoy it. Well, I can help you out, my friend. I'm sure you can. <laughs> so getting getting into this, this is a headline from um, Bleeding Cool. It says Image Comics crossover the series will have the the impact of watching. Obviously, it's an overstatement, and they, there's some speculation later on in the article how they're trying to say image is trying to equate it to Watchmen. I think they're stretching, but here in this first paragraph of the article, they're talking about basically at, at uh, final order cutoff, the mm -hmm. sales are already over six figures. It's bigger than the apartment of truth launch. Number one, and it's going to be the biggest non big two launch of the year. And they didn't really even need to do any, uh, the game, the system like Mr. Miller did to get over a hundred thousand. But here, this last line, it says, but Image still seems to think there's room for more and has been talking retail or talking retail, telling retailers, damn you, Rich Johnston, that crossover <laughs> number one will launch with a Watchmen level impact. <laughs> damn you, Rich They Johnson. might be overselling it, but it appears that crossover before the issue, the first issue has come out is likely to be a hit. Well, it's definitely going to be a hit. Um, I, I think, in fact, you know, I think the only thing that is going to derail Donny Cates in the year is if, you know, people get too, keep, people start to promote him as too big. <laughs> people tend to have a, a negative reaction to that. Um, a crossover is not going to have the impact of Watchmen. I, I think that's, that is ridiculous to say, but um, that doesn't matter. You don't have to have the impact of Watchmen to have a very successful year. And Donny Cates is, is going to have a successful year. I think 2021 uh, King in Black is going to probably be the, the, the crossover that's going to have the good impact at the start of the year. Last year's, uh, you know, or sorry, 2020's event, Marvel had, that they started the year off was Iron Man 2020. Definitely going to do better than that. But Donny Cates uh, will have a very successful run. He's going to also have a big anniversary issue of Venom. He's already teasing that it's going to have a huge twist. It's going to change the status quo and bold new direction and all that kind of stuff. Uh, Thor is is going to be kind of inter twenty twenty one in the middle of this uh, this storyline that he's saying will be super powerful with uh, Donald Blake and and being a villain and all this stuff. We will have crossover. I think crossover will do well. I, I think I, I have this suspicion. You and I talked about it before that Image Comics, as they've gotten these bigger name creators to come over of late, it's created a huge first issue bump and then a pretty dramatic second issue fall. And I, I think. I think we'll see that again here. I, I think that it, it, it's not, um, who knows? It could wind up being the next Walking Dead in terms of you know continual sales and growth over the series, but uh, more than likely it's, it's gonna have a big stunt first issue and then it will settle down. But even when it settles down, I mean, it's gonna be a 75, 80,000 copy seller, which is a, a huge success in this current time. So yeah, it's, it's gonna be his year for sure. Yeah, I think it's interesting that this is actually planned to be an ongoing series, but they're giving it like the red carpet treatment. It, yeah. Tons of variant covers by big name artists. Obviously, they're, they're spending some coin on this comic book to get it promoted. The sales obviously are, are very good right now. 
I have talked to some people. I guess there is a preview copy out there mm -hmm. before FOC because they wanted to show the quality. I have some questions about it. Obviously, I cannot comment on it until I read it myself. Uh, sounds like it might not be exactly what we're expecting, but it's like, you know, what if you could make the biggest comic book crossover event with, with heroes from every universe? Obviously, he, he changed the names, changed some of the uniforms and things like that. I think he already had to change one costume because they look too much like Shazam. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, it, it feels like it's going to have an impact. Image Com Comics is, is doing big things. And I, I guess there was information out there that uh, Donnie Cates was going to have two more uh, comics launching somewhat soon. What was it? Werewolf? Werewolf? And Werewolf. Flood. Yep. And I guess Werewolf's going to tie into, which one is it? It's not Baby Teeth. It's God Country. It's going to yeah. kind of tie into God Country. And he actually confirmed that one pretty much on Twitter. So he's got more creator-owned stuff. I applaud Donnie Capes. You know, bet on yourself. You know, with what we have seen with with um, Alan Moore, what he's saying about creator rights. If you have great ideas, you probably don't want to spend them on the big two. It's probably best to invest in yourself, and hopefully, your IP takes off later on. But you know, like you said, be between watch or crossover, he's got Werewolf coming out. I guess he was hedging on Flood. We don't know if that one's real, but you know, he's got some other creator owned stuff and. I definitely yeah. think 2021 is going to be a huge year. Obviously, crossover comes out in November. I think King and Black starts in when does that start? 20 December. or December, correct? Yeah. yeah, yeah, but it's the December books look very kind of entry. I think the big action is going to be in January, February. It is going to be the book that's going to distract from uh, what DC is doing at Future State. Marvel obviously owes a lot to Donny Cates right now, and they're going to be continuing to treat him like a their, their highest profile star. Um, you know, I yeah, I think 2021 is going to be it's going to be hard to imagine a creator is going to have the same little impact as Don Cates. He's going to run the show in 2021, and uh, you know, I, he's he's got some good ideas. He has figured out how to kind of resonate with fans. Um, for all the the people who have complained about kind of maybe behaviors he's done on social media, simultaneously he has put out comics that fit what fans are looking for, and and you can't take that away from him. It's it is what he has done. And so I, I, you know, he's going to have a good year. I, like I said at the beginning, the only thing that derails it at this point is, you know, pretty much Donny Cates himself. If he, if he becomes a kind of megalomaniac, kind of egotistical uh, person, if if the hype gets so overwhelming that fans start to reject it just because they they don't want to be associated with it, I, that's the, that's really the only way it can go wrong. K and Black is a very safe event in the sense that, you know, it's it's it'll be hard for him to to botch that. It's, it's, you know, it is what it's promising to do. Guy from space coming down, symbiotes, you know, people are fighting. I mean, it's it's going to be hard for that one to land badly. And yeah, it's interesting you, you said that about Donnie because he does have a, anytime things get going too good for him, he does have a tendency to maybe go off the rails and start kind of being a, kind of being a dick. He a does. Bit. Yeah. He, he's, um, I mean, it, it's like he really needs somebody to tap his shoulder every now and then to go, hey, just just you know, pull back a little bit. It's it, there is a little bit of self destructive there. I mean, he he does seem to catch himself eventually, but it is um, he he does tend 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 to go a little lean a little further than than I would personally. But it's his life to live. I mean, it's, mm -hmm. it's you know, he's welcome to do what he likes. But it is it is funny whenever uh, a lot of fan support seems to build up, he seems to. To kind of, I don't know. He he, he makes some comments. It seems to isolate a few of them, and then, you know, th then there's the argument of, well, those fans don't matter anyway. And that's just a, it's a slippery slope and a bad thing to go down in. And and he, the more he can stay away from that, the better. Like interestingly enough, like kind of on DC's side, they they've got James Tynan right now who's blowing up with Batman. I, you know, he had the Department of Truth. He's got. Uh, Something is killing the children. He's really hot right now. You know, he's essentially their version of Donnie Cates, and he seems to become like more humble and nicer to people the more the more success he has. It's, it's interesting their their personalities are so different, yet they're both on that same upward trajectory. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I think Donnie Cates is um, man. Some people are going to hate what I'm about to say here, but I, I mean his uh -oh. his ideas tend to be kind of bigger and more uh, bombastic, if you will. He tends to be more of a uh, Stan Lee type, almost. Uh, that's a terrible analogy, but but anyway, he, he tend, yeah, he, he tends to be you know huger scope, and I think along with that comes some level of 
I, not not again not ego but maybe it's in that realm I, it's just it's it's a tough balance and i think uh he's fairly new i mean to comics in the grand scheme of things i mean he's been doing it for several years but he's not you know we're not talking about 20 year veteran or anything like that and i i've seen many creators when they get this kind of attention kind of blow up themselves they just you know they it's it's suddenly a lot of praise all at once and i think you know, Donnie Cates hasn't had to really deal with a you know clunker of a title. He they ha he hasn't had to deal with people saying, "Yeah, this sucked," and I, I think that's the moment that a lot of creators uh, struggle with when they hit it for the first time. So uh, again, that that could be the only thing that really derails him in twenty twenty one. If crossover does come out and the response is tepid, you know, how much is that going to drive him nuts? You know, I, <laughs> but you know, all things considered, I have seen uh, pages of crossover. Um, you are correct in that it's it's not exactly what you think, um, but it yeah it's a solid it's a solid story. People who like comics are probably gonna like that one. So it's interesting. Marvel obviously has the utmost confidence in Mister Cates and his ability to sell a big comic book event. They're even selling like a Doctor Doom, Iron Man, uh, you know, yeah. a Chris Kringle special comic book for King and Black. They're they they shut down Black Cat to relaunch it just for king and black so uh they they definitely have a lot of confidence in this and i think this is absolutely going to sell even better than absolute carnage yeah yeah i definitely think it's 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 being built to be a bigger scope i think it will sell better in absolute carnage for sure um but it but it's it's one of two i mean his thor book is is promising the the biggest kind of arc right now is is going on and uh, Venom has got the big anniversary right after that. I mean, you've just got you've got a number of things stacked up uh, for Donny Cates, and I, the, I guess the other question for me here is how long will Marvel roll with this before they also start to want to put the brakes on because they're letting a creator get you know too big, too which big. that's been a problem for Marvel as well. So, um, but at the moment, I mean, you know, the beggars can't be choosers. I don't know that they really have much choice in the matter. So, you know, they're gonna they're gonna let this ride. Uh, and and you know Donny Cates has earned it. It's it's not like this is somebody being that is you know fictionally pushed up who, who writes terrible stories nobody enjoys. He sells comics, so he, he has earned a lot of what he's getting right now. I don't know if everybody noticed it, but Venom, which obviously is a spinoff of the Spider-Man series, is outselling Amazing Spider-Man. Thor is outselling Amazing Spider-Man. Venom is outselling X-Men. Thor is outselling X-Men. Obviously, they're both destroying avengers right now yeah these are the two best ongoing titles that marvel comics has they both belong to donny cates and you look at thor nick klein's doing amazing on that series not exactly a household name ryan stegman on venom is, an, is another story but he hasn't been illustrating that comic for a very long time he's obviously been working on uh, king and black and they, they've had a, who is it uh ivan coelho yeah I'm cool. Yeah, he's been he's done a great job on Philip. Not exactly a household name. Those comics are selling off of the the reputation of Donny Cates now, and I expect him to keep selling well in 2021. And I will be absolutely beyond shocked if there is not a Thor event coming down the pipeline in 2021 as well. Oh, I I, I completely agree. There will be so fall that we'll have we'll do something with Thor. I mean, he's he's running the show, and and you know. He, he definitely has earned the right to walk around with a bit of a chip on his shoulder with how much he's propping up the company. No doubt about it. And, uh, you know, and that, so the best thing for him to do right now is just like, like you said, do some creator owned stuff, take control of your own destiny, own some of these properties and, and keep yourself humble. You know, don't, don't get involved into the mess and just keep your name really, really strong and make these companies fight for you. Uh, he's, he's in the driver's seat right now. The only, the only person who can derail that is him. I read all of his comic books, all of his Marvel comics. I read a couple of his uh, creator-owned things. I'll definitely be on crossover. It sounds, uh, I don't know, like a comic reader's wet dream. It, it sounds like a lot of fun. Although the information I have is it's going to be a little bit different than I anticipated. So I'm super excited about this. I'm happy for him. I do think he kind of uh, he, he loses the plot a little bit every once in a while. But can you imagine the amount of praise he's probably getting? Not, you know, he hasn't been in the industry like 20 years. He's relatively new. He's very hot. Everyone's probably telling him he's amazing right now. So, you know, it's probably hard to keep your keep everything quite in perspective. But the man is pumping out hit after hit after hit comic book. Even like Guardians of the Galaxy, the, the title he did before Thor. 
wasn't the seller that Thor is, but it was still a, a damn, it was a very solid comic book. Yeah, no, it is. And and you're right about that, that, that people are, um, are, are all over him. I mean, I, I watch the amount of people who, who beg to find out how they can be introduced. I, I, there are people who do uh, farming. Uh, at one point, I posted something that Donny Cates liked, and I had people DMing me asking if I could introduce them to Donny Cates. I mean, there, there's a there's a crazy cult <laughs> that has exists around him. It has nothing to do with Cates, but if you think about that kind of environment, it's it's not healthy for anyone, <laughs> and it's it hard it's hard to keep your head when you've got that kind of you know behavior around you. I, there there are people who are desperate to have any kind of you know, bit of that shine that Donny Cates has. And that is, uh, it's, a, it's a dangerous combo. So stay humble, put out the good comics, build that rapport with the fans. And that's that's what you need to do. And always keep in mind, Alan Moore, you, you think of uh, John Byrne, some of the real curmudgeons in the industry, still beloved because they kept putting out quality stories. Obviously things taper down as you, as, as you go in, but in their prime, all they did, did was pretty much deliver quality. That's what he's doing. As long as he keeps putting out great comic books, most people are going to be able to forgive any of the transgressions. I, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> people will forgive any sin if they're uh, if they're entertained. Yep. So uh, that'll basically wrap it up. Donnie Cates is the man heading into 2021. That is not a prediction. That is a spoiler, folks. It's yeah. going to be Donnie's world in 2021 as far as uh, Marvel Comics. He's kind of running the ship there. He's got the two best ongoings. There's no way King of Black isn't going to be their best-selling event probably the last uh, uh, several years. Crossover looks to be a huge launch for Image Comics. They need a hit. I think it's interesting that it's an ongoing. It seems like it would be more tailor-made for a miniseries or something like that, but we shall see. Uh, Perch, do you have any other predictions about Donnie or any other news that maybe I didn't cover here? No, I, I we've covered it. I, I'm fascinated, and it's a video for another time, but who's who are the people who have the opportunity to come take the throne who's who's the number two the number three people coming up uh who are they and you know how do they win that that'd be great to talk about sometime. i want to do that next week we were looking for five things you know we've done five uh things we missed that aren't coming back this week we're going to win uh you know five th five comic book trends i despise next week the five up and comers looking to take the throne it'll be perching on. awesome perfect all right buddy Appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed to Purchase Channel, there is a link in the video description, and there should be uh, an icon that you can go over and subscribe to this channel here in a few seconds. Thank you, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. I would appreciate it very much. It helps us attract more views for the channel. Subscribe for future commentary, comic book news, and reviews. And don't forget to ring the bell for notifications. If you want to talk comics, movies, and much, much more, you can follow me on Twitter, at Wes underscore from underscore TC. With that... Salamat po, and I'm out.